Hi, I'm Pamela Chong, and you're watching Bean Talk. I'm here to share with you the top headlines that are trending at PwC. PwC recently announced the launch of our China Center of Excellence, or CCOE, to provide innovative solutions, sophisticated technology, and business insights to PwC's clients in China. The center itself houses three core functions under one roof, and these are innovation, research, as well as education. These services are available at the physical China Center of Excellence in Shenzhen's Tianhai Free Trade Zone, as well as at PwC Innovation Centers, which are now located in Shanghai, as well as Beijing. PwC will work with Alibaba Australia to provide services and advice to build better trust in the supply chain of food products. Together, we will explore the use of enhanced traceability models and new technologies, including blockchain, and these will be used to trace products from farm to fork and to help mitigate the risk of food fraud. And lastly, PwC has been named the number one professional services brand, as well as one of the world's top 10 most powerful brands in this year's Brand Finance Index. The index is an annual assessment of the brand value of over 500 of the world's best-known businesses. We achieved the highest score, and that's a triple A plus for the seventh year in a row. Technological disruption is not new, and world history has always been shaped by technological innovations. So why is what's happening today attracting such widespread attention and commentary, both from optimists who foresee a golden age of opportunity, but also from those who are concerned or uncertain about what the future may mean for them? So what's going to be different this time? Let's dissect this phenomenon with Andrew Watkins, our Chief Technology and Disruption Officer for PwC China and Hong Kong. The rate of technological change and speed of adoption is accelerating. Our assumptions about the future are typically based on our prior experiences, and these have historically followed a more linear progression. But what we're experiencing today are the beginnings of an exponential rate of change. Consequently, much of what has been true before no longer applies, and we are struggling to reset our intuition and adapt to a future which may bear little resemblance to the past. So Andy, how is the proliferation of the internet and connectivity helping to close the digital gap globally? Increases and improvements in processing power, connectivity and battery technology at ever lower costs, together with the proliferation of internet and data-driven business models, is providing accessible technology and vast amounts of information to almost everyone everywhere. A villager in rural Africa or China today equipped with a smartphone has access to more information than the president of the U.S. 20 years ago. Right. So what is the relationship between technological change and advancement and the other global megatrends that PwC has identified? The human factors. Urbanization, aging populations, globalization, shifting political sands, and corporations with the power of countries and often even greater reach and influence. Technological change does not happen in a bubble. All of these various factors and forces are becoming increasingly intertwined, making the jobs of executives, regulators and politicians ever more complex. At a time when more data and analysis is available than ever before, the ability to separate the signal from the noise and make timely and effective decisions is both a major challenge and a key differentiator. Thank you for your time, Andy. That was Andrew Watkins, our Chief Technology and Disruption Officer for PwC China and Hong Kong. So we refreshed our corporate values at PwC recently, and B Mobile spoke to a few of our colleagues to find out which value is the most important to them. When we do this, we establish trusting relationships with our clients. Don't let anyone define our limits. I think small effort from everyone can make a big difference in PwC. If we all take time to get to know each other better and understand what drives us, then that will help us work together better to deliver value to clients. When you work together, you get a lot of different opinions and different ideas and that actually pushes forward and challenges each other. So you can come up with something very different from what you originally had. Innovation is a keyword for China, also a keyword for PwC. We have launched the China Center of Excellence. So I think innovation is our value in the future. You can watch the full What is Your Value video on the Bean Mobile app. And that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time on Bean Talk. Thanks for watching.